Hey, this is Itokiri Kurtai, and welcome to Fatal Frame 2. Uh, as you can see, this is the director's cut version of the game. Alright. Um, yeah, okay. You didn't load. I did unlock that, but I uh, probably won't go with that. I think it's just first person throughout the entire game. Should do that sometime. Uh, just go default on everything. Didn't we always promise each other that we would always be together? to play here all the time. Yeah. All of this will be gone soon. Is your leg okay? Does it hurt? It does a little bit. I'm fine. Mia? Yes? <laughs> Never mind. Time back then. Mayu? Mayu! Where are you going? We can move now. Mayu? Mayu! Mayu? The lost village. I've heard about this place. A long time ago, there was a village here that disappeared during a festival. People who get lost in the woods are trapped by the village. Could this be that place? Okay. See. No. Oh, okay. 
Okay, select this map. Okay, triangle. Or, uh, Y. Okay. I heard singing before, but there's nobody here. Statues. I don't think I can do anything up here right now. Is it maybe save? I think there's a save point up here. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay, that gives me a good indication of how long this game is going to take. Let's save over it. I can always redo it. Seems not that terribly difficult. Mayu, you coming? She's a little slow. Yeah, she's a bit slow. She had her, her leg is kind of crippled a bit after that fall that it showed in the flashback. Black bags or a piece of paper and put outside. Just clipping. With the start of construction for All God's Dam approaching, Masumi Makimura, 26, a geological surveyor dispatched to the area, has gone missing. Mr. Makimura went to the area to investigate the site. That would have submerged once the dam was built, but it hasn't been heard of for five days. This is from Masumi Makimura26, the surveyor missing since the 4th of this month came to a close yesterday. Mr. Makimura has been helping con to conduct a geological survey for All God's Dam. As of yesterday, he's gone. Mi he's been missing for 10 days. Right, and a picture of a couple. Whose is this, I wonder? Who else is here? Oh. I wonder if anyone's here. Hmm. Go settings at this point in the game. to kill Am 
Maya can catch up normally. She's not like some um, escort missions where she just stops walking after after you get a certain distance from her. Okay, I've heard rumors about the Lost Village before. Long ago, a massacre occurred on the day of a, a ceremony, and the village was wiped from the map. Twin deity statues in the forest lead lost people to the village entrance. Once you pass through the gate, however, you cannot go back. The village eternally relives the night of death. The insane laughter of a woman is said to echo throughout the village. The only survivor of the massacre at the village was a lone woman. Let's see, I don't know how much I can actually explore in this place. Safe point. Oh. Sometimes I sense someone passing by the window. He carries a torch and mutters things. He seems to be searching for somebody, but it's not Masumi. In the distance, I can hear some kind of sad ceremonial song being sung. They say that in this that this village disappeared on the day of the ceremony, and that day is repeated over and over again. I feel like we're being watched by someone. Can't do it. Okay, that was gonna be it, I think. Old kimonos, like all like women's kimonos. Can't explore can't explore the box. Oh. Ooh, healing items. Now compared to the first game, this game is actually really easy. It gives you a lot of healing items. Ghosts don't do that much damage in comparison to the first game. Especially not in comparison to the first game. However, your camera's actually a lot weaker in this game. At least in my opinion it is. It doesn't have the charge attacks that it did in the uh, first one. And damage just seems to be purely dependent on how close you are to ghosts. And if they're about to attack you and stuff. Which more or less just maximizes that. Um... I kept searching for you. You know, if I hadn't played this game, that, that would probably spook me very hard. <laughs> I've played this game several times before, because this is one of my favorites in the series. Granted, I've only played the first three and a tiny bit of five. I do own a copy of four now. I found it at a convention. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to playing that one. Okay, Masumi, it's me, Miyako. I came to look for you. Let's go home together. Together we can make it. Call for me if you find this. I'll be nearby. Miss you. I wonder if anyone's really here. Uh, mark the water in the wash basin. I know. Oh. I know if you're if you're playing a new game plus, you can actually take a picture of all those ghosts that I've already seen so far. Dust inside hasn't been used for a long time. Pretty much like the first game, you start off with you get to start off with the camera, so you can actually take a picture of the sheer amount of ghosts that show up at the beginning, for completion list sake, which unlocks stuff. Why? Okay, she went this way. Slightly ajar. That's not to say this game won't spook me. I mean, Resident Evil One still managed to spook me. I played that game tons and tons of times before. But granted, most of that was just hunters. And hunters are spooky in general. No medicine. Well, this game might do the mean trick where it just spawns it goes right in front of you when you lift the camera. I've had that happen before. <laughs> Stupid broken neck woman. Flashlight on the table. Alright, we got the flashlight. Yaroscura. Camera pointers. Um, the camera was made by Dr. Asso to take photographs of beings in the spiritual plane that normally cannot be seen. It can reveal events from the past through the lingering thoughts of individuals. It is also able to photograph spiritual beings that are invisible to the human eye. Taking a photo of the unseen, be of an unseen being has an ex exorcismal f effect, but simultaneously creates a sort of link with them. If the camera obscura is used carelessly, these beings may even gain the upper hand on the user. I wonder if I can photograph the site at the heart of this village's forbidden ritual. If Dr. Aso was here, I, I'm sure he would be excited. Seijiro Makabe. 
It's much older than the flashlight. It seems to be as if it's originally from the house. Got the camera. Okay, basic camera. Camera Scare is a special camera that allows you to exercise spirits by taking photographs of them. When you face the direction where a spirit is seen, the filament on the bottom right of the screen or the top of the viewfinder will glow. Once you've located a spirit, raise the camera with the B button. Once you've found a spirit, center the viewfinder screen and, and press the shutter button, the right trigger, to take a photo of it. you're feeling in front of the door is gone now. It says you can capture things ordinary people can't see with this camera. Could this be the power of the camera obscura? Okay. Mm. Mm. My camera, my, my, my controller is vibrating. It made me think that there was something nearby. Actually, can I switch? Okay. No, I can't switch film in this game. Oh, I can't. Good. That's nice. Okay. Type 7 film is infinite. It does really shitty damage, but, you know, infinite ammo for random spirits that like to walk around. See, I think I'm supposed to try to leave. Take, your, take pictures of as many ghosts as possible to upgrade your camera. In this game, there's actually a limit to how much you can upgrade the camera at a time. Since the spirit stones that were in, in the previous game, uh, spirit stones would you, would you get from defeating ghosts when you hit them the last time. Um, when you do that, let me check over here. I 
I got, okay, I got to attack something over here. Um, they, they're basically our ammo for these special skills. In this game, special skills are uh, boosted up whenever you deal damage to a ghost, which is how it should be. Okay. If I remember correctly, nothing happens. Maybe later. <laughs> My, you please move out of the way. In this game, uh, you find spirit orbs just kind of sitting around and such, and you uh, plant them into your camera to set. Oh, right, it's just that. To um, so you can spend the points for doing that. I think Fatal Fracture uses the exact same system. Being a little slow, so that in case a ghost pops up, I can take, quickly take a picture of it. You real, you pretty much don't have to worry about Mayu. You had to escort her around every so often in the game, but not throughout the entirety, thankfully, because she's a little slow. See in the photo. Looks like an injured man. man. Don't come near me. Took that long to. Mm. Should have switched me. Damn, I missed that one. Makes me a little sad. Alright, I'll keep that in mind in the future. I mean, the game gives you... Pl I mean, I think in terms of the fi the ones that I've played, this one's by far the easiest game in the series. For the main problem being, it gets really tedious at the very end. Mostly that last tunnel. Anybody who's played the game would know exactly what I'm talking about. I think there's something... Uh, nothing special in the closet. I think there's something that's special in there later. Or probably just film or something, I don't know. It's open. Oh yeah, I can also tap the button to move around like that. <laughs> Okay, there's a hanging picture. It's so faded you can't see the color of the flowers. Okay. Uh, closet won't open anymore. Oh, what was that book for? Someone, anyone, whoever sees this, look for me. I'm trapped in this village. Help me. Miyako Sudo. Yeah, you can see it. You can go in the first person mode. I really gotta play this game on FPS mode someday. <laughs> Herbal medicine. Nothing over there. Mio, look. I don't know why, but the game is incredibly quiet on my TV. I'm trying not to get it picked up by the microphone. Not having the microphone pick it up or anything. No, a second. It's too loud. <laughs> okay. For some reason, the volume change between 8 and 9 is absurdly high on this TV. Usually when I record... Where is... Ah, too late. Bitch. Usually when I record on this TV, usually having it at 4 or 5 is perfectly fine for me to be able to hear anything.
Granted, I don't remember what the volume settings when I did Fatal Frame 1 were. I mean, it's been a while since I actually did that one. And they're both Xbox games play emulated on this 360, more or less. Oh, wait, did I miss five? How much time has passed since I came here? How long will this night last? I can't take the darkness. It's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. I have to see Masumi. Did I miss five somewhere? Huh. Seven. I must be tired. If I start to relax, I pass out. Even in a crazy place like this, the darkness here is creeping into my dreams. Slaughter, rivers of blood, fallen people, a woman in a bloodstained kimono, insane laughter, the twin sisters calling out, don't kill me. That woman's laugh is searing to my mind. I don't want to sleep anymore. Yeah, behind me. Damn it. I pushed it too early. <laughs> Um, she will automatically face them if you push it at the right time. Scroll on the table. Certain age characters don't know what it says. Anything else in here before I pick that up? Because I'm pretty sure that she attacks me the second I do that. Oh, fuck up. Cool. The ceremony master, Mr. Kurosawa, gave me a very warm welcome. The village has no chief. The ceremony master proceeds over the village. I wonder if this village was founded by people who wanted to... Pr pr preserve their sacred rituals and festivals. Most notable among all God's folklore is the Gate to Hell legend that has been passed for years. It's an archetypical tale of a gate or hole that marks the border of the world of the dead, also called Hades, the underworld, or the netherworld. It is a forbidden place that is feared and hated, but it is also worshipped as well. The idea of hell has been a core belief of humans since ancient times. This village supports the theory that the belief is universal. The, yeah. The forbidden ritual regarding this gate to hell that it takes place here is something no one is allowed to see or speak of. This strict taboo is probably the result of the ceremony concerning the border with hell coming closer to the living world. Villagers lead a simple life. Deep in the mountains, they struggle to forage food for their daily meals. The village has little contact with the outside world. They continue to practice the ways of old, frozen in time. Anything else in here? Sometimes there's usually more than on occasion, there's sometimes more than one of them in there. Okay. Masumi found my note. He was in the village. I can see him soon. I can't move. I'll wait here. He'll be back. He'll find the way out. If he comes back... He came. The last part of the memo stops abruptly. She also became trapped here. She came into this house looking for her boyfriend. And then, where did she go? This place must be... Capturing exercising spirits. You can exercise spirits by taking photographs of them with the camera obscura. The greater response indicated on the charge gauge in the capture circle, the greater damage you can inflict on the spirit. When the charge gauge goes red, there then this is a shutter chance. You can shoot during this instant to inflict heavier damage on the spirit and repel it back further. Blast back. Using blast back ability will push back an approaching spirit. You must have film to shoot. When shooting in succession, you have to wait for the next shot to load before shooting again. While loading, press the shutter button. Well, when loading, pressing the shutter button will have no effect. Load time is shown in the upper right corner. High power film gives more damage and loads quicker. Where is she? Oh, she's over there. Nope, shit. I missed that one. Help. 
There we go. Uh, why does it keep doing that? I have batteries in this thing. Come on, do something. Fine, I'll just play. I'll just hit you. There she goes. Uh, uh, 